What's up guys, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing part 8 of our Halo 3 lasso run. This is Cortana, and it's a lot quicker than you remember, I'm sure. We're gonna spawn in and turn down to the left. There's a dead elite and a dead brute, and they have a firebomb and a plasma grenade. So, check down there real quick, grab those, and we'll be able to move on to the next part of the mission. There's actually a full energy sword up ahead here, so we're gonna grab that, and that makes the first section and the whole level, really, a lot easier. I also grabbed a plasma rifle from that dead elite, but that doesn't really matter too much. We're gonna go over to the right. We want to hug the right there's a little tunnel with a covenant glyph on the side you can see i'm shooting at so go up over there and this actually leads you up towards the top of the map and there's actually a bunch of hidden weapons up here there's a carbine i grabbed there's more plasma grenades there's a sword which is the important thing we're looking for right up here so grab that and then i like to drop down there's another firebomb down here by a dead brute who is now turning into a flood brute so take these guys out as they spawn in you want to do this fairly quickly because Obviously, there's a bunch of infection forms that are animating all these dead bodies around you, so you don't want to spend too much time in that first section because they could overwhelm you, but they're not too difficult to deal with uh, as you run past them because, obviously, of the sword, which maintains your shield and kills them with one hit. So we're going to move on here. After this first segment where the Gravemind is slowing you down and talking to you, you can see there's a hole in the ground we're going to approach, and we have to drop through this. I like to drop through down to this area, and this will kind of drop you off on this ledge here that we want to be on instead of falling all the way to the floor and then needing to jump up to the ledge after a Cortana's dialogue. If you could even call it that, she's kind of just freaking out right now, but we want to move along this ledge, jump onto this Covenant support beam, and just wait here for a few seconds for the combat forms to jump down to the area you're in. And then once a handful of them jump past you, just jump to the right and you can get up and bypass all of those guys. And we're going to run through this first section here. Slice people with your sword as you come across them to keep your shield up. We want to stick a couple carrier forms, that guy, and then we're going to hug the left side here and just follow this kind of ledge that goes along the left wall as we wrap around it. And we want to stick one of these carrier forms. You could try to jump over them, but if you have super low shield, they may kill you from their explosion. Um, but you could just kind of back up throw a sticky grenade real quick at them, wait for it to blow up, and then move past them once it does. We have another segment where Gravemind and Cortana are going back and forth, so I'll skip ahead a little bit. We'll come to this section where there's a bunch of dead Covenant on the ground. There's a bunch of grenades as well, so grab those plasma grenades, grab those spike grenades, and we're going to move on. We want to kind of pass them, but then double back and slice one of these guys as they reanimate so we can get our shield up for the next section. So we have full shield, full nades. Grab a fresh sword if you want to. I have a carbine, but I'm really not using it at all. And we're going to drop down this hole, and we want to immediately run across the room before all the flood in this room set up. So we immediately want to run straight through the room. There's actually an active camouflage here I'm going to grab. So sword the tank guy as you walk past him and grab that camo, and then we're just going to run the rest of the way to this hole in the wall. Make sure that you grab that camo. Make sure that you don't have another piece of equipment that's preventing you from grabbing the camo. So just kind of hit the equipment button before you run through the room to make sure you get rid of any equipment you may have accidentally picked up previously. I like to stick these carrier forms with spike grenades because it blows up all the infection forms contained within them. I missed the second one, but we're going to run past this section. Sword guys, as you come across them, and we want to jump up to the left here and then jump up to the left here. Keep following this path and hug the left. This is a very reliable route. So we're going to go cut in here to the right, and then we're going to cloak ourselves right about here. Use that camo. And then we could just bypass all of these guys. They're going to run right past us and not even notice us. So stay to the side so they run right past you. And then you could slice the last one or two of them so you could get your shield up for the next section. Right after that, there's going to be some more dialogue from the Gravemind where he starts talking and slowing you down again. I like to turn around at this point and I actually go back and grab a bubble shield from the previous section that we just ran past. All of the enemies should despawn or just run all the way down to the previous part of the level. So there's going to be no enemies in here. I cut back a little too soon, so there's still some enemies, uh, but they are all running away, so they're not really engaging me. I'm just kind of following them back down. Uh, you might want to give it a little more time to be a little more safe in case they do decide to uh, take notice of you and run back and start attacking you, but you can see them all down there running away. But I grabbed the uh, bubble shield down there on the ground. It's right in the middle of this pathway, so grab that. It's not 100% necessary, just something I like to do uh, just for a little extra insurance in case you're not comfortable running through the next section, which we are going to be doing. So with our bubble shield that we just picked up, we're moving through the section where we just turned around. Right about here is where we turned around. We got that grave mine slowing you down segment, so we're moving past that now. We're going to come upon one of those gross sphincter doorways, and we'll move through, and we want to go to the right. There's going to be a ledge that we could jump on top of. And I paused it right here because it's not immediately obvious where the ledge is and where I'm going to be landing on. But there's basically a little shelf right here where the blue line is. But that left side of the blue line is kind of blocked by that big bulbous flood blob that spews out infection form, so I'm going to jump and crouch onto the right side of the line, turn around, and you could jump up to the second level, throw down the bubble shield, and I like to just bypass these guys, and I slice them as I need to if I need to get my shield back, but grab the camo, there's two camos right there, but move along this path and kind of jump up into the left, and you slide along the wall up onto this ledge. Use your camo as you get up there, and then we're going to jump on top of this blob on the wall, 
jump up here, and then we're going to jump across these gaps on the top level, and we're invisible still, and we should be able to make it all the way over here before our camel runs out. And as you go through that door, that should be about the time when it runs out. You could grab that bubble shield that's right at that door, throw it down so you avoid taking fire from any of those range forms, and then we can move through. There's going to be another Cortana segment right here where she slows you down. I'll skip ahead a little bit. We'll go through one of these gross doors again and turn to the right. There's going to be a bunch of enemies along the perimeter of this room and some enemies in the middle as well. So we're just going to slice these guys as we come across them. I like to grab a brute shot right there from that crate as well. These two uh, corpses on the ground will reanimate from the infection forms, getting a hold of them. And then we're going to move along the side here and basically just kill everything as we come across it with the sword we have. And a lot of these guys won't actually attack. You can see a lot of them are attacking, though, but some actually end up having no AI for whatever reason. So we're just going to slice these guys, keep getting our shield back, and you want to kind of just stay behind cover because there are some ranged forms that are setting up. But if you stick one of these guys with either a firebomb or a plasma or a spike grenade, they will actually die from that one stick. Unfortunately, I missed on that one, but you can see I was able to close the gap, kind of ducking behind cover as I moved forward. And at the very least, the plasma grenade that did not stick him actually damaged him and stunned him for a little bit, so I was able to close the gap more safely. So your main priority once you enter this room is basically kill all those guys along the right side, because after that you're going to come across a bunch of enemies that are still in this room, but they don't actually attack you or anything. They just kind of stand around for whatever reason. So you don't really have to worry about finishing the fight along the right side with a fully intact shield because you're going to get your shield up from all these guys who are not doing anything. So kill all the guys who are active and then you could, you know, have a field day with all these guys just sitting here. But once we kill all the guys in here, we're going to move the equipment around uh, more to our liking because there's four deployable covers, there's three bubble shields, there's a couple camos. So we're going to move those around. We're going to juggle them across the room to various points uh, where we want them so we can make this a lot easier. So there's two camos over by the door to activate the uh, Cortana cutscene. You go through those doors and go in there a little bit. There will be the Cortana uh, stasis field you got to break and that will trigger the cutscene. But we're not going to go in there just yet. We're going to go grab the camo and we want to juggle this camo over to the door where we're going to exit this area from uh, once we come back in here and there's a bunch more flood we have to fight. So you want to be careful when juggling these across these very narrow bridges. Obviously you don't want them to fall down to the bottom of the map, especially the camo because uh, there's only two camos and we're going to use both of them. You might be able to get away with uh, dropping a bubble shield down because we only are going to use two. You don't need to use uh, two necessarily, but I'm going to place one bubble shield right here. Uh, because we're going to jump down here from the top of the map. Then we're going to turn around and grab another one of the bubble shields. We want to juggle it and place it between the bubble shield that we just placed and the door that we're going to use as an exit. So we're going to juggle it over here. And you can see that red door ahead of us. That's the door we're going to end up using to leave this place. But we're not going to leave just yet. So we're going to set up and throw the bubble shield right about there. And then you can fine tune it however you want. We're going to basically run from the first bubble shield we placed to the second bubble shield we placed to the doorway and we're going to place a camo in the doorway so we leave and know we have that camo with us for the last part of the mission. You can see there's a deployable cover to the right side of the door that we're going to use as an exit so we're going to grab that and use this to juggle the camo to the doorway like I mentioned. So leave it right about there looking pretty good. So we'll basically bubble shield twice as we jump down to this area and then we will grab the camo on our way out. So now we could go over towards the door that will get us to the Cortana room. We'll grab the camo that's over there, because remember there's two camos in this room, so we place one over by the exit, and we're going to grab one before we activate that cutscene. It's over by this crate. This crate has full swords, so grab a full sword while you're over here. So we exchanged our deployable cover for the camo, exchange our somewhat depleted sword. Who knows how much energy is left in this sword, but we're going to grab a fresh one to make sure we have enough to finish this level. Go in this hallway, save Cortana, activate the cutscene. I skipped all that, so now we're on our way back out. We have Cortana with us. Go to the left and jump over this railing, so we land on this bridge right here, and we're going to go across this to the center. You want to cloak yourself as soon as you start taking damage, and then we could go over here, activate the middle console, and we will run back the way we came, slice a guy as you're invisible so you make sure you have a full shield. We're going to jump onto the rightmost uh, pillar over here. You can actually land on this, and we're going to jump up and crouch onto the roof here. Go past a couple of these pillars, and then brute shot this reactor over on the right. Brute shot the one that's nearby, and then we're going to move to the left and brute shot that third one. And then we're going to continue moving along the perimeter here, and then we're going to stay on top until it says Escape High Charity. That means the door has opened up that we need to open up so we can move through to the next part of the mission. And you can see the roof actually gets wider over here. That means we're over the door that we need to go through. So we're going to jump down onto that first bubble shield we planted and we're immediately going to throw it towards that second bubble shield and then we could throw that to the camo. And of course as you're doing this like we've been doing the whole mission you want to have your sword out so you can slice guys as you come across them as you need to. You want to be aware of the one at least one Mauler Brute who is going to be in the doorway there. So we're going to slice through him, grab the camo. I get uh, caught up here because there's a crate 
that happened to be blasted onto where the camel was, so I'm not sure if I picked it up, so I'm spending a little time kind of just slapping the uh, crate around, making sure I've grabbed it. Turn to the right as you fall down, and we're going to go uphill a little bit. This is the wrong way, but we want to jump on top of here so we could get up on the higher parts of this area so we could kind of walk along the top, along the rafters, for lack of a better term. You could see you could easily walk along these walkways up top here, and you could avoid a lot of the fire from the uh, flood down below. So we're just going to stay on top for as long as we can, and then there's some carrier forms down below at the end here, and we're going to just run past and avoid these guys as best we can. You could throw a couple nades, uh, ideally the spike grenades, because they don't blow up in all directions like the firebomb or the plasma grenades. The firebombs are not great for throwing at enemies that are in front of you, because obviously it's a fire that you've started in front of you, and you have to run past that as well. So you want to try to avoid that. But we're going to run through here, and in this doorway up ahead here, there's a bunch of floods. So I like to cloak right about here, so I avoid all of these guys, just try to run past them. I do a really bad job of avoiding them. You can see I'm running right into them and kind of got trapped in the side there. That could wind up killing you, because although they can't see you, they could feel you if you run into them. So they'll just kind of smack at the air, and if you're in the way, you'll probably get killed. So try to avoid touching them like I did there. I usually try to avoid that big tank form entirely, but I figured I took a bunch of damage from getting trapped by all those floods. So I slice them a couple times to get my shield all the way back up for the final segment here. And we're basically just running to the Pelican uh, at the end of the mission, or kind of at the beginning of the mission. We're kind of doubling back towards the beginning of the mission now, and we're going to find Arbiter up ahead here. But just kind of run past all of these guys. You can see here I'm not following my own advice. I'm not just running past these guys. I felt like they were a little too close for comfort, so I'm just going to kill these guys real quick while they're not overwhelming me, while there's only a few. I tried to escape again, but then he started shooting me with the plasma rifle, so I just doubled back again and killed him. I was going to leave him alone, but I'm going to have to finish him off here. And then we go into this next section. There's going to be a couple carrier forms, so I'm going to stick them with spike grenades, ideally, because, again, the explosion is not omnidirectional, so you don't have to worry about taking shrapnel, probably, unless it's facing directly at you, which it usually will not. Now that the coast is clear, we'll just keep moving forward. We're almost at the end here. Just a couple more segments we got to run through. And this guy is running away from us, so we'll slice him for an easy shield regeneration. And his buddy right next to him will suffer the same fate. We're just going to keep moving. There's another uh, combat form that popped out behind me, and I feel like he's a little too close. I kind of got stuck on the wall there, so I didn't know if he smacked me or not, so I'm just going to slice him to make sure. And I always cut into the right. I don't know why I'm going to the left at this point. Tried to stick that guy for some style points, uh, but I did not connect there. That's okay. We're just going to wrap up around the right side. Slice this guy. He usually is not there, but just slice him if he is there. We're going to go into this pelican, and that will activate the cutscene that is the end of Cortana. One of the quicker, easier missions if you know how to run it. This mission gets a bad rap, but it's not too bad, actually. But anyway, that's it for this one. We got one more to go with Halo, so I will see you for that one. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, be sure to click on the scorpion icon to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You could also check out some related guides by clicking on the videos on screen, and you could find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Halo guides, and I'll see you in the next one.